runs down the ramp and whirls around in this circle upside down. What? Try it. I will. Okie dokie. You got what I am. symphony when he was about nine. He did? Really? Wow! Wow? Uh, what is a symphony, Rolf? It's kind of like a musical play. Oh, goody! Like Annie! What do we say? Well, you don't say anything, Piggy. There aren't any words, just music. What? You can't have a play without words, huh, Nanny? I'm sorry, Piggy, but Rolf's right. Well, you can tell a story through dance, like your favorite ballet, Sleeping Beauty, or you could have a musical play with no actors or dancers, like Peter and the Wolf. Peter and the Wolf? Uh-huh. I have a wonderful recording of it from when I was a little girl, and some funny old musical instruments that you might be able to use in your symphony roll. Oh, really? They're in the attic. I'll go get them. Gosh, Peter and the Wolf. It sure sounds good. I wonder what it's about. Sorry. It's about someone named Peter and a wolf. Oh, <laughs> sorry. The Muppets. Me, me. Far out, Kermit. I didn't know you could write music. Neither did I, Ralph. No. <laughs> What me do? Just keep practicing, animal. I'm not sure where the big horn comes in yet. Okay. Gee, kid, the lights burned out in the attic, and I can't seem to find my records or those instruments. Uh, Nanny, could you tell us the story of Peter and the Walrus anyway? <laughs> not Walrus, Fuzzy. Wolf. Oh, okay. Tell us that one then. Oh boy. Well, let's see. Peter was a little boy who was very athletic and adventuresome. Like you, Skater. Really? Uh-huh. And he lived out in the woods with his grandfather. Ooh, Grandpa. Now, Peter loved to play in the woods near the house, even though there was a deadly wolf that lived nearby. Peter 
live around here, did they, Nanny? Oh, no, Kermit. They lived in a tiny town in Russia, far, far away from here and a long time ago. Phew. Now, Peter's grandfather warned him again and again not to go out in the woods, but Peter didn't listen. And when his grandfather wasn't looking, he snuck out the door. Then what happened, Nanny? Well, it just so happened that Peter had a lot of little animal friends. Frog? That's right. First, there was the bluebird, who lived in the big tree outside of Peter's house. Ah! Did somebody mention me? was the piccolo, which sounds very much like your little sweet potato, Gonzo. Gosh, so that's how birds make that tweeting sound. <laughs> you see, Fozzie, each character in the story is played by a different instrument. Next, there was the family duck. Right, and ducks play these things. Ah, uh, Nanny, I heard them at the park. And so, Peter and his friends walked along. Catching the attention of Grandfather's friendly old tomcat, who joined them. Huh? I don't see him, do you? No? Sorry. Ooh, kitty, 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 kitty. Does your grandfather choose his pet to win them at the carnival? Beats me. You're kind of weird, though, huh? What happens now, Mr. Duck? I don't know. Sorry. Where's that lady's voice? Yoo-hoo! Oh, here I am. Sorry. <laughs> Peter and all his little animal friends walked deeper and deeper into the dangerous woods. Now that the hungry wolf... This group looked like a wonderful meal being delivered right to his doorstep. Anyhow, it wasn't hard for the wolf to figure out which one of these characters would be the easiest to catch. Huh? Wolf! <laughs> <laughs> Who's the easiest to catch? And the bird knew they had to do something or the wolf would get them, too. So Peter figured out a plan to capture the wolf. All right, Peter! Oh, my goodness, kids. I have work to do. Let's listen to the whole story on the record together later, when I have time to fix the light and find it, okay? Okay, Nanny. Gosh, I can't wait to hear the record. Well? Maybe we Wait. What? It's simple. Nanny said she couldn't find it because it was too dark, right? Yeah, so? So we go find the record for her with this. Okay, who's coming with me? Oh, gee, Skeeter. It's not that we don't want to, but... Fine. I'll be the one Nanny's proud of for finding her favorite record in the whole This morning, remember? Huh? Yeah. Well, Nanny didn't even get mad. This way, I can thank her. Yes, I want to come too. Gee, Kermit, don't we 
like that. No wonder you keep it in the attic. Um, Nanny, we've got some good news and some bad news for you. The good news is we found your record. Let me see, Skeeter. Uh-huh. This is it. However, like Peter's grandfather, I'm not very happy you came up here without me. But I'm glad you found the record.
Gosh. Come on, kids. I made some nice hot cocoa for us to drink while we listened to Peter and the Wolf. And Rolf, I can't wait to hear your symphony. Whoa! Oh, my! Me, Larry, and Nanny. Well, that's nice animal. Coming up next, that's right, Garfield and Friends. So stay tuned to Kid TV, dudes.